Hey guys, this is an experiment I do with my Year 7 class all the time because they absolutely love seeing all the different colours of the flame test. Now you need to take it a bit more seriously and actually learn them. Some of the colours in the flame test can be quite subtle. Lithium is not subtle in any way at all. It burns with a bright crimson flame. You need to know the specific wording and the colour as well. You can't call it red, you have to call it crimson. Sodium burns with a bright yellow flame. This one's really rather pretty. Potassium burns with a rather subtle lilac flame. Calcium burns with brick red flame and barium burns with a green flame. Now I know it doesn't look very green but that's the colour that the examiners want you to know about it. I also want to take this opportunity to point out to you just around here you're seeing some orange colouring off. That is just the splint burning and they could ask this as part of a question to see if you can work out the difference between the flame colour from the salt and the wood burning. So barium is a green colour, any orange or yellow that's sneaking in there is going, just going to be the wood burning. So for C3 they like you to know how to perform flame tests. Um, it's actually slightly different to the way that I do it in my lab so I'm just going to show you. We need some concentrated hydrochloric acid. We need a uh, bit of wire that has a loop on the end, if you can see that there. We need some crystals of whatever we're going to be looking at. So here we have copper. What you need to do is to take your loop, then you are going to need to clean your loop to make sure there's nothing left on it. You put your loop, once it's pulled, into the hydrochloric acid so there is if we can see that um, a blob of liquid just in the center of the loop there and we're going to use that to pick up some of the copper sulfate that is our crystals so there I have a wire loop which is full of lots of lovely copper sulfate crystals and then we pop that in the flame and watch what happens. This is a rather nice one, which is going green. So I actually do this slightly differently when I do it in the lab. I have some uh, large conical flasks which have um, splints that have been soaking in. This makes it much easier and much safer for students to do. So first of all we are going to have lithium. Not all of these are actually great to see but for the, price, um, the course of your exam you need to know that lithium gives a crimson flame. There we go. really quite pretty when it does this. Um, the, if you can see any hints of orange in there, that's just the uh, splint burning. Let me show you that again. So lithium, crimson flame. And again, the hints of orange that you can see, that's just the wood burning. That's not actually anything else in there. The next thing you need to know is sodium. And sodium gives a yellow flame. Then we have potassium. This is a nice one, potassium. 
Maybe slightly harder to see, but it's actually giving a lilac flame. Then, this is potassium here burning with a lilac flame. Uh, I know you may disagree with some of my descriptions of colours, but these are the colours that the exam board wants you to use. Next, we have calcium. And calcium burns with a red flame. And then the last one they want you to know about is barium. And barium, believe it or not, burns with a green flame. Very pretty and really good fun. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.